we are discussing chapter 3 synthetic fibers and plastics so we'll be taking synthetic fibers and plastic questions and answers first question is explain why some fi fibers they are called synthetic they're called synthetic because they are man-made they are not naturally occurring so these fibers some fibers uh, which are not natural that is man-made fibers they are known as synthetic because they are made by chemical processing of what petrochemicals petrochemicals so these synthetic fibers they are made up of very large units of polymers they are made up of large unit of polymers and these uh, synthetic fibers for example uh, are rayon nylon and acrylene next question is mark this right the correct answer rain is different from synthetic fibers because the answer is uh, this b it is obtained from wood pulp this is the answer fill in the blanks with appropriate words synthetic fibers are also called dash or dash fibers so you can say artificial or man-made synthetic fibers are synthesized from raw material called we'll see petrochemicals actually and like synthetic fibers plastic is also a polymer plastic is also a polymer so first is uh, synthetic fibers are called as man-made and artificial synthetic fibers are synthesized from raw material called petrochemical and like synthetic fibers plastic is also a polymer next is give examples which indicate that nylon fibers are very strong nylon fibers are used in uh, various fields especially where life threat is there so nylon is very strong actually stronger than steel wire so it's very strong fiber that is why this nylon is used for making parachutes rock climbing ropes fishing nets seat belts etc since uh, this thread is elastic unlike steel wire and light unlike steel wire that is why nylon is used here explain why plastic containers are favored for storing food see there is a study now that uh, plastic shouldn't be used for storing food uh, prolonged that and that to uh, warm or hot food but still because uh, we need to answer this question so uh, the answer would be plastic containers are favored because they are lightweight easy to handle uh, this pricing is less uh, compared to other containers they have good strength and the containers are durable explain the difference between thermoplastic and thermosetting plastic the differences are like this see the name set so this sets this one set cannot be unset just remember this so thermoplastic the, which gets deformed if you heat them and they can be bent easily they are known as thermoplastic while this thermo uh, setting plastic once they are molded they cannot be softened by heating uh, these are thermo setting plastics polythene pvc polyvinyl chloride they are uh, the examples of thermoplastics and uh, as far as thermo setting plastics are concerned bakelite and melamine are the examples then we have thermoplastic there these are used for manufacturing toys the combs and various types of containers while bakelite and melamine see bakelite is used for making electrical switches and uh, handles handles of various utensils while melamine is used for making floor tiles kitchenware and fabrics which resist fire explain why the following are made of thermosetting plastic saucepan handles since uh, we use melamine here in this case we use bakelite so in saucepan handles melamine this which is actually a thermoplastic uh, thermosetting plastic uh, this resist fire and this can tolerate heat better than other plastics so it is used for making the saucepan handles which resist fire then bakelite 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 is a, a poor conductor of heat and also electricity that is why it is used for making electric uh, plug switches and plug boards categorize the materials of the following product into can be recycled cannot be recycled so the uh, recycled one i'll let you know plastic toys recyclable the 
the carry bags recyclable the plastic balls are recycle recyclable the ball point pens are recyclable and we have the plastic covering on electrical fires these are recyclable and uh, plastic chairs also can be recycled uh, the telephone instrument the cooker handles and electrical switches they cannot be uh, recycled rana wants to buy shirt for summer should he buy cotton shirts or shirts made from synthetic material advise rana and you have to give your reasons also so this uh, is summer so it's going to be hot and uh, you'll be sweating cotton is the best because it absorbs the the sweat as well as the uh, the pores in the cotton shirt they you can say enhance or they provide evaporation also so rana is advised to buy a cotton shirt for summers because cotton absorbs the sweat and the pores in the cotton they allow evaporation and it helps uh, your body to cool while the synthetic shirts on the other hand they do not absorb heat so they will will be quite uncomfortable to wear in summers next is give example to show that uh, plastics are non corrosive in nature if uh, you put certain you know uh, you can say some some agent or some chemical which is reactive if you put it inside the plastic it will not react that is why it is non corrosive we can store various kind of chemicals uh, in the plastic containers because they are non reactive they do not react with water and air also so teflon bakelite melamine or they are all the example the teflon this is a kind of plastic used as a coating to manufacture non stick cookware teflon bakelite is poor conductor of heat and electricity and we we make uh, electrical switch and handles of the utensils using bakelite melamine is used to make floor tiles and kitchenware next is should the handle and bristles of toothbrush the brush be made of the same material example and answer so the bristle of a uh, tooth brush it goes into our mouth they they are going to deal with the gums and the and the uh, your teeth so the best is that it should not harm the gums and we cannot have a uh, hard material uh, but uh, very soft material but hard material for the grip firm grip because you are going to uh, do it for at least 4 to 5 minutes so the bristles are made up of nylon fibers which are strong elastic lustrous lightweight and easy to handle and the handle can be made up of hard plastic because it needs to be strong durable poor conductor of heat and electricity next is avoid plastics as far as possible comment on this advice so the basic thing is plastics is, is now everywhere even you know tea tea is uh, delivered using the plastic that is made tea already already prepared tea plastic is everywhere it is now in in every part of our life whatever you see you if you are standing somewhere just see around you will find plastic now the thing is plastic is non biodegradable that means the it by itself it is not going to biodegrade it will remain like this so the plastic has become very important but plastic are non biodegradable they will take lot of time you know even even hundreds of years to decompose they are not at all eco friendly they, if you if you burn them you will see that they release poisonous fumes which is very dangerous because it is causing uh, causing the air pollution the cows and other animals if they happen to eat this polythene then they can even uh, die because of choking in the respiratory system the plastic uh, just lying there left in soil will cause soil pollution and plastic bags drain into water bodies will uh, be a threat for aquatic life poly bags choke the drain because they are poly, poly bags polythene they have a tendency to stop water and uh, sewage pipes so they you know all these are a lot of trouble that will be passed to our future generations we have to match the terms these are the terms with the phrases so polyester polyester uh, then 
the polyester fabrics do not wrinkle easily. Teflon, rayon, nylon, nylon, nylon is used for making parachutes and stockings. Then we have Teflon, Teflon is used for making non-stick cookwares and Ryan prepared by using wood pulp. So these are the combinations or you can say matching. Next is manufacturing synthetic fibers is actually help, helping conservation of forest. See if you want to make uh, the fibers or normal fibers you have to cut trees. That means you are going to uh, cut or deplete the forest content, forest reservoir. But when you are making it by yourself that is using man-made artificially using petrochemicals, you are actually leaving the forest like that. So synthetic fibers are man-made fibers and they are made up of uh, petrochemicals. For manufacturing synthetic fibers, cutting of trees or killing of animals is not required. So we can conserve our natural environment using the synthetic fibers. So the, you can say always manufacturing synthetic fiber is actually helping conservation of forest. Next is uh, describe an activity to show that thermoplastic is poor conductor of electricity. See, I'll show you with an example. This is a battery. You have a circuit here. You have a bulb and here is your conductor. When you put a conductor, the current will flow from negative to positive and there will be uh, a glow in the bulb, the bulb is going to lit. But when you put a thermoplastic here, because it's not a good, or you can say it's a poor conductor of electricity, this bulb is not going to uh, glow because this circuit is not going to complete. So, this is all about uh, the question and answers of synthetic fibers. Thank you so much and take care of yourself. Mm-hmm. <laughs>